Hi, I'm Patty with Comax Business Systems. Today I'm going to be showing you how to print on and insert tabs into a document. And I'm also going to show you how to create a set of tabs without inserting them into a document. Uh, the recommended stock is the Avery 20406 Reverse Collated Tab. Now that's not to say that um, other brands won't work, but the Averys have been tested and they work really well with the uh, biz hubs. Now, if you need to put your document into a three ring binder, make sure that you use pre-punched paper and pre-punched tabs. Um, the copier can't punch tabs. So let's take a look at the copier and how to set it up. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do to set up the copier is go into the finishing tab and you're gonna deselect offset because the copier cannot offset tabs. And then we're gonna select okay. And this is what your tab paper is going to look like when you place it in the bypass. Normally your top tab is up here, but a reverse collated tab means that the tab, your first tab is actually your bottom tab. So when you put that in the copier, your tabs are going to be facing out, but make sure that your top tab is actually on the bottom. And when that prints, it's going to flip over and that will be, become your top tab. And you have to run your tabs from the bypass. If they won't run from any other tray. So once you pop your uh, tabs in the bypass as normal, you're going to get your menu up to make your selection. So you want to go down to the second page here, and you're going to select index paper. Now that's a little bit confusing, but tab paper and index paper are the same thing. So we're going to select index paper, close out, and now we're ready to go to the PC and send our job. Okay, to set up your document on your PC, you're going to pull your file up, do your file print just like you normally would, select your Biz Hub, and you're going to go into your Properties. Now, you want to make sure under your Layout tab that you are defaulted single-sided. Uh, sometimes the default is two-sided, so we're going to change our default to single-sided. And all the tab settings are out here under the Cover Mode. So we're going to select Cover Mode. And then we're going to go to the per page setting, and this is where everything uh, is found. So we're going to go to per page setting, and you'll notice you have little lists here. So really, you could set up several lists of tabs or, you know, any other type of um, options that you want to use for your per page setting. So we're going to go to edit list, and first of all, I want to show you where your tab settings are. If you look in the right-hand corner, you'll see tab paper settings, okay? You always want to make sure that your paper size is 8.5 by 11 tab. Now the number of tabs, or, or these are sometimes referred to as banks, uh, and the normal number of tabs is 3, 5, or 7. But if you'll notice, you can actually insert and print on up to 15 tabs. But today we're going to use 3 tabs. Okay? And on the position adjustment, you'll notice that the information is already there, and it will adjust if you use different uh, amount of, a different amount of tabs. Okay, so we've told the copier that we want to do three tabs. We'll to select OK. Now, right here you'll notice that you have a body one and a body in. And this will always be like this. And basically it's just saying you have a beginning page and an ending page. So to add your tabs, you're going to come down and select Add. And you have to set up a tab, one tab per page. So we're going to go, um, we're going to insert our first tab at page two, and what it will do, it'll print after page two. Okay, now I like to go down, start from the bottom up, staple, you're never going to staple your tabs, so we're going to start with a paper tray right here. We're going to come over here to our change settings, and this gives us some adjustments that we can make. So we want to tell the copier that we want to pull it from the bypass, okay? We're going to come over to where it says tab paper, and of course you see the default says do not use. So we want to do the drop down and say use on the settings. And under the print type, it says print insert. Um, and you would think that that's what you're going to do, but really you're going to come to your change setting drop down and you're going to say insert blank sheet because we don't want uh, the copier to print on the insert. We want, to, want it to print on the tab. Okay. So now let's go over here to where it says tab position. And you'll notice that it's defaulted to continue the previous page. And that's where you want to leave it, unless you have a tab that you need to replace, 
you know, it's been destroyed or got jammed, that kind of thing. So if you're just going to do one tab, you can come to this little drop down and select which one of these tabs that you want to create. But like I said, in this case, or in most all cases, you're going to leave that on, continue the previous page. Now, we want to be able to uh, print text on our tab. So we're just going to go down here and we're going to type in what we want our tab to say. And I'm just going to say tab one here. Now, if you hit enter, you can actually um, insert up to three tabs, or I'm sorry, three lines on a tab. So now we're going to go down to our text tab text details, and I'm going to show you the options that are available here. So you can actually change the orientation of your tab if you want to. You can flip it so it's reversed. You have vertical and horizontal positioning here. Under the font name, there's a zillion different fonts out here that you could choose from. Um, the style, and sometimes I like to use the bold. Color, you can select what color, and today we're going to be using navy. Okay, and you can also go, go down to the size and select the font size that you want to use. Okay, so then you're just going to select OK. Oops, I'm going to come over here. I want to put a one on there. Sorry. Okay, so we've created our first tab. Now, don't make the mistake of saying OK here. What you want to do is you want to go up and touch Add again so that you can set up your tab for your second tab. So this tab, we're going to put it on um, after page four. Okay. And again, we're going to go come down here and say under the paper tray, we're going to come out to the settings and we're going to say to pull it from the bypass. Tab paper says do not use, but we want to use tab paper. Okay. And under the print type, we want to come to our change settings and change that to insert blank sheet. Okay, so now we're ready um, to type on text or text on our tab. So we're going to type in what we want our tab to say. Okay, and go back into our text details. And I'm going to keep it uniform. Um, I'm going to go in again like I did earlier and say bold. I'm going to select navy. Okay, and then I'm going to bump up the font to 14 and touch OK. Alrighty, so now you see where you're kind of building the job up here. So now we're ready to do our third and last tab. Again, don't hit the OK button. We're going to touch Add. So every time you add a tab, you have to touch Add. Okay, so we're going to come down to the page number and we're going to put this one at page 6. Go down to our paper tray. And we're going to say to pull it from the bypass. And all your tabs will be have, have to be pulled from the bypass. Under tab paper, of course, we're going to say use. And under the print type, we're going to say insert blank sheet. And we'll skip over to our text on tab. And we're going to type in what we want our last tab to say. And we're going to go with tab three here. Okay, and remember, you know, you have three lines if you want to create more than one line of print on your tab. Tab text details, go back into bold, and we're going to do navy, and we're going to do 14 font, and then select OK. So at this point, you can see our tabs are at page two, four, six. and pretty much what we told it to do displays up here, so if you're not sure what you've done, you can kind of look across here and you can actually highlight it. You know, if you need to edit something, you can highlight it and delete it or, or change what you need to change. Now, this is what we were talking about earlier. So if you, if this is a tab job that you do a lot of and you want to save these settings, you can go up to the top and edit the list name, clear out what's in there and just name it, you know, whatever you want to name this job. Okay and select OK. So the next time you want to run this uh, exact job, you can come to this list name and it will already be out there for you. So once you get everything set up, you're going to touch OK, OK, and print.
In this segment, I'm going to show you how to create a tab without inserting them into a document. Uh, to get started, you'll need to create a blank sheet in Word for each tab. For example, if you're going to do three tabs, you need to have three blank pages in Word. So once you have your pages created, you're going to go uh, into your printer properties. And again, um, if you're defaulted two-sided, you want to make sure that you go to layout, change your default to single-sided, go into cover mode, and we're going to go to our per page setting like we did earlier today. And you see that I have my test tab for my first little um, run that we did, but I'm going to start a new list here and I'm going to go to list two. So we'll have fresh settings to start with. Okay. So we're going to touch edit list. Okay. So to set up our first tab, we're going to touch add and we're going to say at page one. We're going to go down to our paper tray. Of course, we're going to pull them from the bypass, just like we did when we were inserting them. And under tab paper, we're going to select use. Now this time, we're going to leave the print type at print insert, because we actually want to, this is actually an insert, and we want to print on the insert. So we're going to go over to our text on tab and make this tab one. And remember, just like on the other, when we inserted in the other document, you can actually print up to three lines per tab. So we're going to go down to our text details here, and we're going to select Navy, and we're going to do it at a, a 14 font, and we're going to go to our style and say bold, and select OK. So to do our next tab, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to say Add. And this we're going to say is page two. And remember, it's one tab per page. So we're going to go to our paper tray. We're going to select bypass. Under the tab paper, we're going to say use. And under the print type, we're going to leave it as print insert because we're actually going to print on this insert. Okay. And then we're going to go to our text on tab. Make this one tab two. Okay. Go down to our text details. And we're going to select bold under the style. Stick with navy and stick with our 14. And you'll notice you can go up and make it really small or really large, you know, just according to what kind of font you want to use. Okay, so we're ready to do our final tab. So we're going to touch add and we're going to select page three because this is our third tab. Go to our paper tray, select bypass, under the tab paper, use, and print type, we're going to leave it as print insert. And we're going to go over and type on our tab, but we're on our tab. Okay, and then we're going to go to our text details. And again, we're going to leave it bold, and we're going to go um, to navy. Okay, and then we're going to select a 14. Select OK, OK, and OK. And that's how you create tabs. Oh, hit your print button there. That's how you create tabs without inserting them into a document. And that might be helpful if you want to do multiple sets and save them, you know, and use them later on for a, a different type of document. So now we're going to take a look at um, our finished product where we inserted tabs into a document and you'll notice that it exited on the top tray and the tabs will always come out on this tray. Okay? You'll notice how the tabs are in color and they're inserted into the correct page order that we told it from the PC. And you can see what a nice professional looking job the BizHubs do on tabs.